continued to grow year on year since its inception. But it's not just the fans that are excited about the year to come. Certainly from my point of view, you know, 10 years now on the circuit, it's nice to go to different venues and big city venues. You know, Sydney, huge. Looking forward to going to Singapore as well. Paris will be fantastic. It's great to go back to back when you've got a big tournament like Dubai. Sometimes it drops down a level and that's not gonna happen this year because you've got the different tournaments, you've got the Olympics, you've got the 15s players coming into some of the teams and all of that sort of stuff just makes this a very different type of year. With Sevens making its first appearance at the Olympic Games later in the year, competition is fierce amongst all the squads. But for a country that holds the sport so dear, there is an even greater opportunity for the Fijians who make the cut. For the 12 boys that end up making that team, uh, you know, it will give them a legacy on the island that, that will last for all their days. When the Sevens is on, that's it. It's, it's, it's everybody's watching. You know, um, Fiji Airways tell me about the amount of people that call off sick if the games are on Fridays and Saturdays. You know, and I've never been in Brazil and coached a Brazilian football team. There's, I'm sure, various other examples. But a Fiji Sevens team in Fiji takes over the country, takes over the, the feel-good factor. It lifts their spirits. And when we won the World Series and we're driving through the villages back to the Suva, and their villages are laying children on the middle of the road, laying them down so we had to stop the van and get out and meet people. I think it shows you the passion that they hold and, and also the national fervour around Sevens. It's the one thing that we can, can actually claim to be the best in the world at and, and they're very proud about that. As reigning series champions, Fiji still have a long road ahead if they are to retain their title. But if they do so, it would be the perfect preparation for Rio when they attempt to write their names into the history books. It's all new to them. It's new, all new to all of us. Going to Olympic Games with a team, we're not there watching. Um, we're representing rugby. We want to put on a, a show. And Fiji are very keen to show the, the wider sporting audience the sort of game they play. I mean, look, we played in Dubai first game. In the first nine minutes, we scored 63 points. We scored nine tries and we only made 11 passes. Probably had about 60 sidesteps in that. Uh, you know, that's the way we play and it, you know, it is absolutely fabulous. We're the one team in the World Series that plays completely different to everyone else. I just wanna, I want them to play that way in the Olympics. And if we come first or last, I don't care. I just want them to show their best. We average 97 kilograms a man, you know, and that includes some of our little, little fellas. You know, we got 115 kilograms, six foot six, six foot seven players that are running around fleet footed and offloading. And I spoke to a sports scientist about three years ago, and he said, you're going to get a World Series coming into Olympic Games where they're all about six foot two and they're all around 100 kilograms. And he's right, that's what's happened. And it was interesting, last night we were talking in the shirt presentation, because I was handing out the shirts, and uh, Michael Johnson was around the corner the, as Olympic gold medalist handing them out to the US. And I've had Tim Brabant, Olympic gold medalist, hand them out to England in the past. And I said, look, it made, made me laugh actually. I was like, you guys in 20 years time might be the 2016 gold medalist for Fiji handing out uh, shirts to the next generation of players. And they, they have that chance to mark, you know, their, as the boys say, you know, write their names in stone, the stone writers. This is the generation of Fijians that we have at the moment. Um, it's very, very exciting and uh, no, it, it gets me up in the morning.